all gathered here today to witness the justice being served against Michael, who's been charged with malpolitics, defamation, treasury of the and treasury damage of above 500 coins, record yep. disobeying the Degard government, grand lottery, high treason against the state, attempted assassination, attempted assassination of a Degard government official, and attempted assassination of the Emperor of the Imperium. So we'll start with opening statements before we proceed. The Michael's accused of many things here today, but as we've seen before, do you really think that Michael is that intelligent? No, I think he's a piece of shit. <laughs> Jeez, man. Hey, yo. This has been a bit of a, a bit of an interesting trial. There's been objections and concerns uh, about bias, and in regards to the judge has actually had about Michael Imperium uh, and the <gasps> tasteful language he used. We've decided to annul the trial. <gasps> the trial is over, but we're doing a new one in about seven minutes. Uh, if you ever have a trial, you better call Trey. Yeah. I mean, eight, eight, eight nil. Eight nil. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, who the fuck is? And how are you able to present such a fucking thorough case? Um, you see, it's called it's called um speaking the language of English, having extensive VCs with Michael up to three weeks in advance, and um and having no life. You know that one. Thing is, thing is, I just want to point out, I I haven't called a single witness yet. Yeah, yeah I'm being asked to testify. <laughs> I'll be this back. I'm gonna go get some pastry. Bye. <laughs> So, Nank, Nack, Trang, whatever the fuck. Are you ready? Um, you know what? I think I think me and Michael are ready. Yeah. Okay, Cloudy, are you ready? Yes. The prosecution is ready. We'll begin with opening statements. So, um, quickly cover the charges. I don't go into why necessarily you're charging him. Just don't go into big fucking essay. Why? Just say yes. You know. We, yep. we, we, and okay. defense opening statements about well, fuck opening statements. Um, alrighty, let's begin with Cloudy. Begin. <sighs> Michael Imperium, a man with a dream. Michael Imperium joined, uh, joined Eldham almost a full year ago. He started out with the nation of Santos, a nation of his own kin. He ruled the nation with fear and might, until it collapsed by the new Kunia people. Later on, moved to a settlement called New Novus, which he lived for many centuries. Uh, but unfortunately, that failed too, as history tells us. Later on, he moved to the Second Kingdom of Santos, uh, which now, uh, which uh, is located in in northern Seruna. As history tells us, it failed too. You may be asking why did it fail? How did this happen? This comes down to only one person. One person who led the nation to its downfall and all of its downfalls as the rep as history tells us. Michael Imperium. This trial will serve as a mean of transporting these ideas into one common mindset and to prove that Michael Imperium should not be able to participate in making these events ever again. Uh, before you go, Cloudy, can I get a list of the charges? List of the ch uh, like, can we do that after Trace opening statement? I want to hear that, please. Thank you. Well, hold on. You don't have a list of charges, Cloudy? We do have a list. Okay, I'll show them now. Uh, Michael Imperium has been charged of attempted murder, conspiracy, theft, threats, hate speech, and high treason as an extranational. All of the above are as a citizen. Alright, awesome. Train? Thank you, Your Honor. Um... I'm here today to represent Michael. Michael, as Cloudy says, Michael the man, not Michael as the Santonian nation. The Santonian nation, however you view it, it's irrelevant. Michael is the man on trial today. Some of the things he's done, he is guilty of. As we all are, some of us are guilty of things, some of us aren't. Michael is guilty of some things. However, he's not as guilty as everyone believes him to be, and I believe I can prove that, and sufficiently show you and prove to you that Michael, though having made mistakes, is not some kind of giant enemy of the people, and he's not some kind of in total madman. He's a little bit mad, but aren't we all? I believe Michael is a good man. I don't believe Michael does anything purely maliciously. I don't believe Michael is an enemy or an insane person that only cares for himself. I believe Michael serves his people first, 
and he is not a total waste or enemy of anyone. Thank you, Your Honor. Alrighty, we'll start getting into it. Alright, so we'll start by presenting the evidence for the high treason. As has been presented by my legal team and the legal team of the IAFA and the ISB and the TPR uh, governments, Michael Imperium, as shown in Exhibit 7, <laughs> along with uh, along with this little guy right here. Exhibit 7, if I may, Your Honor, as quotes. Michael Imperium, 3rd of 25, 15, 2022. And besides, if I get the land to be out of the DVR, I can get a good deal with Sylvania, so I'll have the funds to make it work. Nobody wants to do business with the DVR from all of their shit and stuff. Not to mention, people don't want to deal with a nation that appears to be in severe turmoil. I'll even buy the thing off you guys if you want. You guys have no plans for Santos, nor going to give me funds to help it, so I wish to respectfully withdraw to try myself. I'm trying to be respectful, still. Even after DVR named the province New New Guinea and killed half the population of Santos. Pilots, yeah, we're not gonna give it, especially if you're just gonna basically give it to Slovenia. Alva Tex is the new governor anyway. We're gonna start working on infrastructure soon. It'll get, uh, it'll get built up then. Alva Tex is East Antonia, said by Michael Imperium. Pilot, no, here's DVR. Michael Imperium, then he's not legit as this is Santonian province. This little piece of evidence, this tiny pixels, has uh, both proof of Michael's neglect to understand that New Novus is not under his control, it's under the DVR control. Your Honor, I would like to raise an objection and... to the relevance the of this. Um, you see, the charges that Cloudy has laid are for high treason extranational, which means outside of the nation. This was as while New Novice was part of the DVR, therefore it has, it's not high treason. That would be high treason within the nation, not extranational. Therefore, this has no relevance to extranational charges. Uh, I'm very sorry, yes, I'm very sorry. That is as national. I just received evidence five minutes ago. Please, uh, if you may, the courts have altered the charges to national. Excuse me? Is that just meant to be national, Cloudy? Yes, as a citizen, not as no, a I'm sorry for this. Alright, this is the one yeah. fucking freebie. I'm gonna call that a clerical error. And then we're gonna move in. Uh, Moving on. Change I would like to bring Philip Brutaker to the stand, please. Uh, so, Philip uh, Brutaker, how can you describe your relationship with Michael Imperium? Uh, we don't have one. You don't have one. Uh, what do you mean by that? Is it uh, a neutral relationship? Uh, mm, uh, <clears throat> hold on. My fault. Um, no, nah, it had been bad from the beginning because he had a problem with Sorrel. Uh, I believe Barbosa and Kunir uh, wiped most of Santos out. How can you describe the harassment you felt by Michael Imperium? Uh, is there another way to describe harassment other than feeling harassed? <laughs> From the time that Michael Imperium was uh, ruler of Santos, how did Michael Imperium talk to you in what manners? Should I say? Uh, it was always that uh, we were somehow trying to genocide him, and uh, we were going to invade him, etc, etc, bullshit, uh, when, I'm gonna be honest, I forgot his country existed 90% of the time. How many announcements has, and how many denouncements, has Michael Imperium made against both the DVR and your person? Uh, I don't know a specific number, but uh, probably more than probably more than two about myself personally, and I guarantee more than four or five about the DVR. Let's see. Uh, we did have that that attempted one or two attempted uprisings in the Questo province, along with I don't believe Michael ever submitted his provincial uh, build request forms to us so that we could actually help him build New Santos uh, or Questo, whatever you want to call it at the time. So you're saying that Michael did not cooperate you in the developments of his province uh, while wanting to develop his progress? Yeah, we, we actively attempted to help the New Questo region while he was there and after. Just Your this Honor, I must raise an objection. 
I don't see why you expect Philip to be able to claim that he was, you know, mentally Never affected. said I crushed Santos. I wasn't even part of uh, Barbosa at the time. My Philip it was, in fact, the one responsible for this. Could you, Philip, as you said earlier, you were involved with that? Bro, no. How the fuck am I involved with killing a nation I wasn't even around for? Because that was what you testified earlier, was it not? No. So you I have no relation to Michael mad during at this time. for killing Santos, which was under sorrow at the time. Your Honor, then can I call into question why Philip was brought up as a witness for these earlier facts if he's saying he wasn't even there? How can he testify for something he clearly just stated he wasn't there for? Objection, relevance. Objection, yes. Your Honor, I would like to explain the relevance. Philip was asked to testify for previous actions of Michael during that time period. Michael, Philip, just maintained that he was not there at the time. Therefore, this witness is false, and I don't think any of his testimony can be trusted. Really? I, I haven't seen that. Uh, part of your fucking evidence is, uh, objection is, the objection by Trang is sustained. Cloudy objections overruled. Uh, Trang, continue with your point about... Michael's character, I well, believe, is where you were. I believe, I believe that I've said all I need to. I don't believe Michael is malicious. He genuinely just wanted what's best for his people. And I don't believe a sentence that would see Michael executed or or banned from global politics would be fair because he genuinely just wants best for, what's best for his people. He doesn't want to needlessly destroy the DVR. And that's proven, furthermore, by his willingness to join the DVR to try and run New Novice in the first place. He genuinely wanted to see it thrive, no matter who owned it. He just, it was the fact that the DVR mismanaged it that made him want to secede in the first place. Michael, uh, as has been shown by history and is not disputed, has denounced the DVR for several, several, several times for being genocidal. I, uh, that is not a question, that is a basis. Um, I'm here to present that hate speech has been in fact done against not only the DVR but its members as Michael and the, the admins can in fact prove this Michael Imperium was banned for several, I don't know, days, maybe a week, was banned for uh, calling other, for, for hate speech in Stormworks, was banned for calling other people genocidal without proper uh, basis, just calling them. I, uh, I can get uh, an admin, I think there's one line to get this to testify, but that is the basis of the charge. Yeah, Your go, Honor, go ahead, man, not, not yeah. only have I had many interactions with Michael, and he's been very kind to me based on various prejudices and, and personal things of my own, he's been very kind and very accommodating in that fact. Not only that, the allegation of him calling Saul genocidal is not baseless, and it's based on Exhibit 6, in which Saul literally says he wants to quote-unquote wipe Santos and the people of Santos off the map once and for all. Therefore, I believe it's it's just what Michael said was true, and as Pilot said, there are no further evidence. There is no further evidence of Michael ever committing hate speech. Your Honor, that's all I have to say. Alrighty. All of you fucking mute up if you're fucking on the presented stage. Alrighty, so, on the charge <clears throat> of high treason, you were found guilty. You've already admitted to the guilty charge. Okay. Now, due to the plea uh, of guilt, you've admitted your guilt, and your lawyer has made a very convincing argument that uh, you're not a fuckhead or a evil person. Yes. It has lessened the, the blow to a massive extent. The fact that the conspiracy, which you've also pled guilty to, the theft you've also pled guilty to, the... That is a big fucking whopper of a combination, but we'll get to the punishment later. I find you not guilty for attempted murder. I find you not guilty for hate speech, and I find you not guilty for threats. Michael Imperium, you're sentenced to banishment, with a chance of appeal to a board of myself, Cloudy, Alter Brewtaker, and a fine of 200k. Now, this board of appeal for your punishment is because of the convincing case that Tren has presented in the, co in the context of your character. The character building that Trent did has had a humongous impact in the decision outcome. It, it, your decision is, is changed from an execution to a uh, banishment. I like the big special fucking thank you to Cloudy coming in for, with, with a huge lack of notice, uh, presenting a presenting a pretty good case. Um, the but also with Trent, incredible work. We we def, def we definitely entered exited the bounds of um, court norms. Uh, 
the it definitely <laughs> we definitely put our own spin on it but you know what it made it unique and it made it more of an enjoyable an experience uh, and although it was long uh, thank you for the bearing with the ordeal and thank you for uh, attending uh, Michael Tran Cloudy and Alva if you could head down to the prosecution chat everyone else thank you so much for attending uh, oh and Krakow and Lathian Tears as well head down there as well thank you everyone for attending have a great day Those fucking Imperium members, they think they could have fucking caught me, but nope, they were fucking wrong. 200k and a simple banishment from the Imperium. God, that was so fucking fun. Three hours, yeah, that may have been a long time, but fucking bro, it was worth it. I was able to live for another day. And Trelinac was able to get a lot of uh, credibility. I think they thought that they could have got me, forced me to pay 750k, banish me from politics, and then have me executed all at the same time. They thought that I wouldn't be able to fucking win with my good lawyer. They were wrong. That was the day they will always remember as the day they almost caught. King Michael Imperium.